Welcome back to the 100 rep sculpted bar leg challenge. So today we are going to do the kneeling flamingo. This is going to really target the glutes like all of these videos are, but it's, you're going to really get the under part of the glute, right where the hamstring and the glute meets. It's going to give you that nice little boost, that lift, strong hips. It's gonna feel really, really good. So if you are new here, make sure that you go ahead and click right here so you can download the guide and follow along with the calendar. Or if you're just coming here to do it for today, that is awesome. And let's get started. Okay, so kneeling flamingo is uh, hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. So you're making a nice um, tabletop position here. All you're gonna do is reach the right leg back and we're just gonna lift and tap. That's it, a hundred times. Here we go. I'm gonna be keeping count for you. And we're going to do these a hundred times. I know, it sounds a little crazy. So of course, if you need to take a break, take a break. But what this is doing right now is we are contracting our glutes. So we've got three different glutes. We've got the glute med, the glute max, the glute min. And so this is really targeting the tiny muscles deep inside your glutes. And with your leg being straight, just like this, make sure that you are um, engaging the quad slightly so that the leg stays nice and straight. <sighs> Already heating up here. Okay, that's 25. I gotta keep count, <laughs> 27, 28, 29, and 30. All right, I'm counting on my fingers. You can't see it, but I am. So with the leg being straight, it is adding a little bit more of that tension in the deepest part of the glutes. So keep the hips nice and square. So both hip bones are pointing downward. Lower belly is pulling in. Make sure you're not completely sinking in the low back here like this, okay? That would be bad. You don't want everything jiggling around like that. You don't want like the joints moving around like that. You wanna make sure that you're nice and strong through the upper body. Nice. Okay, we're about halfway there. Five, four, and now we're about reaching to 50. Right there, okay, we're halfway there. Put a towel underneath your knee if you need to. All right, let's keep it going. <laughs> I'm smiling because I'm wondering why, why do this to ourselves? Because it's a challenge, and anytime we have a challenge, it's an opportunity for us to grow, us to get stronger. So if you're starting to feel a little bit fatigued, you can just take the leg not as high, okay? Make sure that you're not starting to compensate in the shoulders, though, instead. You wanna make sure that you're pushing the floor away from you, staying nice and strong throughout the upper body, and definitely lower the leg if you need to. Okay, that's... 70 right there, 30 more on this side, and we've got two legs, so we've gotta do the other side. Keep the belly nice and pulled in. Whew, I'm sweating, five. Okay, this is going to be 80 right here. 20 more, you've got this. Take a little reset, make sure that your hips are square, pull the belly in, make sure that you're not dumping in the low back, all right? Stay nice and strong through the arms and through the legs. Arms are strong like stone pillars. Beautiful, so this in ballet is called an arabesque. Anytime the leg is elongated and pointed, so the toes are nice and long and pointed. So feel energy reaching out through the toes. All right, last 10 right here, here we go. Count it down with me, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so take a little breather. You probably gotta roll out those wrists because those wrists do get a little bit of pressure there. Um, you could always modify here by putting your hands on a chair or something like that so that you can, um, you could actually just hold onto a chair and do it like that instead if you need to modify. Let's go straight onto the other side. Here we go. Belly pulled in, uh, hip bones pointed downwards, wrists underneath shoulders. So this stays nice and strong and solid, okay? No wiggling around here. Here we go. So 
what's great about this move is that you're actually really using the glute med on both sides of the hips. This is great for strengthening the hips. We need strong hips to walk, to lift ourselves up, to um, birth. If you ever have had kids, you need to have strong hips, definitely to carry a baby in your belly, right? And lots of times they get very weak. So we are strengthening them today. All right. Keep it going. Almost there. We've already got one half done. So the biggest thing I like to do, especially in high rep situations like this, is to keep the arms strong, to keep your mind going back and forth throughout your body. So starting at the top of your head, becoming aware of what's going on at the top of your head, with your face, with your neck, your shoulders, with your arms, with your wrists. So really take an inventory of your body as you do these exercises. Beautiful. Okay. That's halfway there. Here we go. Let's keep it up. Yep, I am burning with you every step of the way. We are in this together. So I can feel my arms kind of wanting to give out on me right here, but it's really important to keep the arms strong because it's your whole body that's working here. All right, make sure that you're not collapsing down. See how you can recruit other muscles like your core muscles, your arm muscles. See how you can actually use this as a way to work out your entire body. Good. Okay, we've got 20 more. <laughs> okay, here we go. My butt is going to feel so strong after this. And remember, you don't have to take it as high, especially as you start to get fatigued. I encourage you to actually scale it back just a little bit so that you can get your form correct. So you can realign your hips, realign your shoulders. I need to do that now as well. Good, let's do our last 10 together. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All done. Great job. That was amazing. I am so proud of you. Make sure that you check in with me using hashtag StretchyFit100 so I can see your beautiful face and body doing all this amazing work. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel right here so I can continue to bring more free challenges and workouts to you. Now, if you are looking for an at-home workout program, then download my Stretchy Fit app. Join me in there and the rest of the community because you get a new workout every single day. Tons of variety with bar, yoga, hit workouts. It's amazing and you will stay consistent the way that the app is designed because you get a new workout every day and you get a program to check into and you can stay accountable. It is awesome and you will see your body goals come to life. It is amazing. Okay, I love you so much. Great job today and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.